everyone, this is Melanie Eke, and you're watching richgirlnetwork.tv. Today we are in Google for a very special fashion event, bridging the gap between technology and fashion. This is a very exciting event where there will be a panel discussion and all sorts of activities to explore the intersection of technology and fashion. So excited to talk to the host and some of the guests from the event. Brittany, this is such a wonderful event. I'm excited to be here. What are you hoping to accomplish tonight being on the panel? Um, well, I'm really excited to, um, of course, talk more about my brand, but also educate the uh, students that are going to be attending the event today on uh, fashion and technology, which my channel covers a little bit of everything. Yeah. What's the one thing, if, if they can take away anything today, what would be the one thing you'd want them to take away? Um, definitely, if you have an interest in something and you have a passion for something, definitely follow your dreams. Yeah. So tell us about your brand really quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm a fashion designer and a content creator. So on my YouTube channel, I teach people how to make their own garments from scratch. Yeah, so the outfit that I'm wearing today, is a, I have a tutorial for the top and the bottom. <laughs> I think I need to check out your channel because I can certainly need help making some clothes and I haven't to run to the store. Wonderful. I'm so excited to meet you. We'll talk some more later on, but at least this way we get to know a little bit about you. And social media for your fans to follow you and stay in touch. Uh, yeah, so my YouTube channel is Brit Brat Fashion, and my Instagram is BritXBrat2. So, okay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. I'm so happy to be here, and this is going to be a great event. I'm excited. What are you hoping that these young people come away with after this panel is over? Uh, what I'm hoping for is to inspire the kids and, you know, go create something new in a crossroads of different design disciplines and technology like making ice pops. <laughs> this is your brand. Yes, so we have developed a first food 3D platform where you can search anything you want in the internet and turn every image in the internet into food in a matter of seconds. Well, you know, wow, I'm only going to say wow because I don't think I can say anything else. That is a brilliant idea, and of course, you came up with this idea, right? Yeah, we've been working on a new hardware for, for the last three years, and we created a search engine and everything, and today we're making Google Pops. Google, love it. Well, how um, can we stay in touch with you and find you and follow you? Yes, so you can go to picksuite.com, that is P-I-X, suite.com. And what is your brand, Darren? What are you talking about today? I am a style influencer. Um, so my brand is DarrenWearsItWell.com um, and on Instagram and all social media handles. And so basically I partner with brands and curate content photography on Instagram. And I have like a following and it's a, a whole business. Well, I can understand why you are the style influencer because you are looking so awesome right now. Well, something like this you put together, you do the shopping and you find all the pieces that match. How did this ensemble come together? This is a fitted suit. Um, when you, whenever you wear a suit, in 2017, it should it should be fitted and tailored. Um, Thank you so, much. <laughs> so this just comes from Zara. It's this you know store in everybody's mall. Um, with me, with a suit, I always like to pair it with sneakers, um, just because I, I like to keep it casual. Um, it just kind of dresses it down because it's already dressed up. Um, no tie, um, keeping it very me. Um, so I you know I'm buttoning it couple of buttons from my shirt and um, just, you know, adding a little detail, it's all in the detail, and then, and that's it. Well, you're smashing. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say to the panel. So social media, how do we stay in touch with you and follow you? I'm on Instagram, Darren Wears It Well. That's my main platform. Um, and then all the other social handles are the same. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Darren Wears It Well. And then my website is DarrenWearsItWell.com and I blog. Um, so all my outfits, I describe them. I give people tips. Um, I also travel. So I thank you so much. I'm following you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So okay. So my name is Doria Green, and I lead the multicultural strategy for the computer science and media team at Google. And so what we do is strive to get computer science into mainstream media. So that's TV, movies, digital platforms like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, um, and then two, try to ensure that representations of computer scientists on screen are inclusive of women, people of color, the LGBTQIA plus community, people with disabilities, all underrepresented groups. And then three is just show that computer science is fun and cool and normal and 
accessible and really try to make it relatable for students of underserved backgrounds or from you know diverse backgrounds and just show them that they also have a seat at the table and that if they want to pursue computer science they can also so what we're trying to do is try to show them some industries where they already see themselves reflected where they already see their face right that whole if you can see it you can be it mantra so I'm doing the CS plus X series where I'm highlighting the intersections between computer science and music dance fashion sports theater so tonight is fashion so yeah we're really excited <laughs> I basically, I just really want them to see people of color and women doing this stuff, right? Like it's really cool and um, really cutting edge stuff, right? Like this is the future and just saying, hey, like, you know, you might not be into computer science in the way that you see it now with like, you know, the stereotypical, you know, white or male cis, cis dude with glasses, right? And a hoodie and no personality, no friends, right? But look at all of these different people, look at all these different faces and styles, people from different backgrounds doing this work and finding a way to collaborate and, and combine it with, with fashion. I think that's the biggest thing is just showing you don't have to choose. It's not mutually exclusive. You can do fashion and you can do tech. Which is definitely a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Of course. Thank you. All right.